Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over a Jasper.ai commands tutorial. This is something that I've been using much more. Even in my previous videos, I've realized that it's very flexible. And as Sean was saying in the group, it's kind of like just saying, ask Jasper anything. You can pretty much put anything you want in here. And the more creative you are, the more creative the results you're going to get. If you'd like to follow along, I will put a link down below in the description. And if you click that, you can get a free trial and many bonus words for testing out a lot more than commands, given the fact Jasper has a lot to offer. Let's begin. So given the fact it's a tutorial, this is going to be the commands template. I believe there's going to be commands that you can use with boss mode. There's also a template for it. So if you don't have the boss mode plan, you can use this template, which is always a good thing. What you're going to want to do here is add your command for Jasper and ask also, do you have any background information for Jasper? So you can do this if you want. I've noticed that you can get really good results even with leaving this blank. So uh, my recommendation is going to be put your main command, your question, what you want to ask or get out of Jasper here, then you can run it. And if you want to tweak it a little, you can do that and then add more. So optional for this part right here. Language options, English, we're going to go with English. I remember last time or a few videos ago, I did French by accident and the results were uh, still pretty good when I translated them. So let me give you some ideas of what you can do here. Okay, so here we go. Write a few paragraphs about why AI copywriting software tools are important for bloggers. Okay, so this is another cool thing. I talk about the paragraph template a lot. This is pretty much the paragraph template improved and much bigger and expanded because it can write a whole lot. Sometimes you get content, it's like the entire uh, you know, length of this page and you can scroll a little further down. So this is a great way of really adding to your articles or scripts that you're going to be doing. And I'm looking forward to doing even more videos with that. So let's generate and see what we get. All right. So here we are. They're becoming increasingly popular among bloggers. Uh, it's able to predict analytics and natural language uh, technology to enhance with a recognizing pattern, just skimming a little, uh, helping reach a larger audience. They can provide automated grammar and spelling checks. Uh, in addition, they can suggest changes. I mean, look at all of this content right here. Okay. So I'm not going to really read over too much of this because there's so much of it. I don't want to spend 10 minutes just on reading. But the great thing here is what I talked about. And I think that'll be my next video is that showing you how to write articles where this can be like one bullet point. Say you have subheadlines in an article. This is really going to help you crank out much longer blog posts. So to give you an example of that, let me just open up a notepad real quick and I'm going to show you what I'm going to talk about. So let's say we have an article, say like, why... Um, what are some of the most challenging sports to play? Okay, we have our intro. And then let's just say we have our examples. So like the sub headlines, like golf is going to be one, right? Let's just say basketball. I'm not saying it is. I think golf is, you know, if you ask me, but uh, football, you know, and just whatever, swimming. Okay, so what we can do now normally is what if I was going to fill these in with paragraphs, you know, I could just do this and we'd get one or two paragraphs. But now imagine you had all this content for each of your subheadlines. It's it's such an easier way of growing the amount of content you have. And that's another thing I like about commands. So let's just do that. So why is let's see, let's do this. Write a few paragraphs about why golf is such a challenging sport to master not even play but master we could do play too if you want right but let's just generate that i had some windows open i, I thought i was going to use more i'm just going to close these it's known for its complex rules difficult technique elegant style it's incredibly demanding you get the mental game finally and then overall like that's a lot of content and I'm really getting excited about writing a really long article. I'm going to do it in my next video, but I know I'm just showing you the uh, tutorial here. But all in all, what it boils down to is just ask Jasper a question. Tell it what to do. It's a command. You can tell it what, you know, be the boss and tell Jasper what to write or just ask it a question. Uh, in my previous videos, they were based upon what Sean Vossler, I believe that's how his last name is pronounced, in the Jasper group was talking about how you can use it for audience research. And it's great. So I'll show you just very quickly. Describe the hidden fears that come along with building and growing an online business, okay? And you can get your personal avatar. You can talk about some of their strengths, their weaknesses. Let me generate this very quickly. All right, and look at this. We got a lot of good content here. So uh, the fear of failure is a big one, just kind of skimming here. 
The fear of making mistakes, any misstep or blunder has the potential to have long-term repercussions. You could use that in your copy. Uh, leads to feelings of anxiety about whether they'll be successful or not. Uh, overwhelm the sheer amount of competition. Like this is perfect market research for your perfect audience. Okay. So all in all, that kind of concludes the tutorial. You're pretty much just telling Jasper, you know, what do you want to know? What do you want to hear? What do you want to have it create for you? What do you need help with the most? And I think that when you combine this with many other templates, which I'm going to do in my next video, you're going to be able to create a lot of content, get a lot of uniqueness out of it, and just really hammer home on the points that you want to make. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget, you can use my link in the description for Jasper. You can get a free trial and many bonus words to really go nuts with the uh, command section. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.